and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special 4th of July set of nails. So happy Independence Day, happy 4th of July to all of those US watchers out there. I am working on Eva today and I'm using the Mia Secret Fruity Collection. The blueberry and the red apple, which are, as they already state, a blue and a red. And I also found this blue glitter that I've got from Nail Nails, which is so, look at that. Oh my gosh, it is so freaking nice. I just love that. And I'm using white and clear from my Mia Secret collection. You can get the fruity collection, all the white and the clear, and all the Mia Secret stuff from my website. I will leave a link in this video and also in the description box down below for that. You can also get hold of your very own Poochie's hand from my website, which I will also leave a link to that. And Eva is looking very washed out here. Eva is the darkest of the hands, but in this video, she looks a lot lighter than she actually is. But yes, I think it's just like, I don't know, the way the camera's picking up the colours or something. So I'm going in with the blue to start off with. And this is just completely a random design that I just made up in my head. And I'm actually really pleased with the way this ended up. So I'm very happy with it. But yeah, I'm just starting off with blue here and then I will be going in with the other colours. I will just let you watch me apply the blue. super super careful at this point I do go in later on and neaten it up obviously you want to be as neat as you can but I wasn't doing like any filing kind of color blocking with this part so you'll you'll understand as we go along anyway so I'm taking the red and you are gonna take it quite wet and just kind of paint the red on around the blue in like a nice little stripe on to this nail and you guessed it it's a marble nail so I'm just applying all three of the colors randomly and like really wet working as wet as I can and just blobbing them on and then just swirling them together it's yeah I think these colors just marbled so well together and I just I really love the way it ended up looking so I will just let you guys watch this for a little minute and yeah basically just swirling them all together but just not making too much swirliness that we're going to muddy them up if that makes sense. Once I was pretty happy with like the main design of it, I do just go around the cuticle and just add little bits there because I've been I've been working on my cuticle application and I think with these hands especially it looks much much nicer if you can get it right up to the cuticle and not have any of that plastic nail showing underneath. So that is what I'm doing here. So going back into this nail now and I'm taking the white and I'm just going to make another white, uh, another white, another stripe using the white and just putting that right up to the red. Not worrying too much because I'm going to come back in and neaten it later up but obviously you know I try and get it as neat as I can. I don't want to make a complete mess with it. Now 
Now, because the white dries a lot quicker, because with the with the colours, you are painting them on. They're very similar to the Glam and Glitz ones. So you're doing more of a painting motion and you're using them really, really wet. So the reason why I let the red dry was because I didn't want like pink, basically. But the white dried nice and quickly, so I was able to go straight back in then with a next red. So, with this nail, I'm going to be doing another, like, flag type thing. So, I'm starting off with the blue again, and I'm keeping this nice and wet, and basically just applying it nearly, like, halfway down the nail. Maybe not quite halfway down the nail, like, three quarters of the way down the nail with the blue. And then, I'm kind of waiting for it to start to set so it's not going to be completely set but it's not going to be like totally runny and then I just take this dotting tool and what I'm doing here is trying basically to make a star so I'm just like carving out a star shape into that blue there as you can see now I got I kept changing my mind with this about what I wanted to do and when I saw like the how the how the how it ended up looking there where you can see like the blues it's almost as if it's been ripped i really liked that look and i thought oh i could make it so that like the star in the middle is being ripped out from from underneath the blue <laughs> but i ended up putting too much white on so i ended up just covering it all to do it as like a color block where you would file it off but because i did this it meant that the star wasn't like perfect underneath and yeah so you will be able to see what that looks like at the end and i think it looked all right but i think this is a really cool little technique to do you just need to make sure that that shaping that you've got underneath is perfect before you put your next color on if that makes sense I then just went in and made sure that I had the blue how I wanted it because we are going to do colour blocking on this nail. So I wanted to make sure that that line there was nice and straight and thick enough for me to put my next colour up to. Moving on to the last nail and I kind of wanted a bit more marble in this set because you know that I love my marble so I wanted to do it a little bit differently this time so I've taken the blue again just to start with there and faded it down slightly to one side I'm then going to go in with the red and the white and just marble these two colours together being very aware at this stage that I don't want to make pink and obviously red and white, you know, if they get mixed up too much, they're going to end up being pink. So I'm being very careful and just playing around a little bit with these two colours. I'm then going to keep taking it up to the blue and uh, just keep marbling it along. Once I get then up to the blue... I've just taken a bit of the blue along with the red and the white and marbled them all together so that I can kind of blend the blue down into the marble. Hopefully that makes sense, but you'll be able to see what I'm doing anyway. But yeah, that's pretty much all I'm doing. Also, just making sure that I get the cuticle part nice and flush and make sure that it's taken right up to the cuticle and yeah, that is that nail. I think this is a really cool effect. I just love it. Just 
just going in and filing this little blue bit here before we're going to go back in with another colour. Then gone onto the little finger again and taken some more white and done another stripe. This set, by the way, I will let you guys know right now, is all over the place. I usually like to do it sort of like nail at a time and then cap them all together, but that is not what is going to happen in this video, you guys. Uh, yeah, so because of the colour blocking, it means that like I'm having to wait before I can finish one nail and things like that. So I'm going back and forth from different nails. So I'm going to try and keep up with it and I'm going to try and hopefully it will make sense to you guys what I'm doing. But I'm now coming back in here with the red and I'm going to do a nice red stripe. And this one is going to be colour blocked. So I am trying to make sure that the stripes are as straight as I can get them before I start to file. Just make sure that it's nice and thick and thick enough to be able to file it all to be crisp and nice if that makes sense. So now I'm just doing the very last red stripe for this nail and then this nail will be nearly finished. But the next part of this nail is actually very, very exciting because we are going to come in with that nail nails blue. <gasps> Look at that blue glitter. It is so pretty. I just think it really added to the whole like spangly, starry, flaggy, American, you know what I'm saying. So I love this glitter and it's so pretty, pretty. So I'm basically just taking this glitter and pretty much covering the whole of the blue with this one and then taking it into this finger and I'm doing it slightly different and I'm taking it around the cuticle part quite like concentrated but then fading it down to the rest of the blue just so we still do have some of that other blue underneath. So yeah, that's what I'm doing with those two nails. So I then decided that I wanted to start filing this star because I wanted to see what it looked like. But then I realised that I might as well just wait until the end. So that was kind of pointless. I then go in and file the red stripe so I can get it as crisp as I can. And then go in with the white to do another white stripe. If you haven't already guessed, this is going to be like a flag. And it's going to be like just the stripes <laughs> to the end of the nail. So yeah, going in with that white and getting that as thick and as crisp as I can, well, as I need. Because I'm having to wait to get these nails all finished, I decided I don't want to spend, you know, I don't want to waste time just sitting there waiting for things to dry. So I decided to go in and cap the marble nail because that nail is completely finished and ready to be capped. So I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to cap that nail. to this nail and filing the white down and then I'm gonna go in with the red and do my red stripe just the same as before getting it nice and thick and as straight as I can
Now coming in and capping this nail because this nail is all done and ready to be capped. So I will just let you guys watch me cap this one. I did file this red off camera, it was like pulled a bit off camera so I thought you guys don't need to see that, you've seen plenty of that in this video anyways. So I'm then going in with my final bit of white to do the final white stripe on this nail. And then I'm just starting to file that top bit so I can see what this star is going to look like underneath. I had no idea how this was going to turn out because I was very aware that I hadn't obviously done what I was planning on doing and it yeah so I was like oh god I don't know what this star's gonna look like but it actually didn't look that bad in the end so moving on to this next nail now I realized that these were quite lumpy and bumpy and not very like neat and straight so I did go in with my e-file however I think you, I mean you can't even actually see it on camera but it did turn the white a little bit pink and I think it's probably just because of the heat from the file when I used the hand file it didn't do that so I decided to just not bother doing that and I wiped away any of the pink with some monomer. I then come into this nail and I started to file this nail and then come back to this one and just neaten up the edges before I do anything else because the edges were quite lumpy and bumpy and we do need to cap this because of the glitter so I wanted to make sure before we cap it that it's like neat and everything underneath so I'm just coming in and I'm filing the sides and also the like the like the body of the nail just to try and uh, like not smooth the stripes out because we didn't have a crisp line anyway but just make it so it was all the actual nail was smooth and then what I decided to do is I'm actually going to come in with this nail and paint so I'm kind of like freehand painting the stripes now with the acrylic just going over the lines just to crisp up the lines a little bit and I do think that this worked really well I suppose because these lines weren't straight they were more curved it would have been more hassle to like file them and things and this way worked really well too so we have two different techniques of color blocking in this I guess the one where I filed and then file it crisp and then this one where I've just painted them on but then freehand painted over the top just to make them nice and neat and straight so I'm now coming back in with this nail. Wow, guys, I'm, I'm doing quite well to keep up with this now. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm all over the place right now. <laughs> so I'm coming back in with this nail and I'm going to file this nail and just really just get the, the patterns and the lines and everything to come crisp underneath. So I'm going to let you guys watch that. I kept as much of the filing of this nail in as I could so you guys can really see how the pattern and the stripes just come out nice and crisp underneath.
it's now time to cap this last nail here and I'm just going in and quite thinly with this one because really I just capped it because of the glitter. Although the red and the blue are not strength colours, uh, because I was just working on a poochie's hand, these nails are literally just going to come straight off of this hand. They don't need any strength in them. I didn't end up capping the star nail just because... Yeah, I just thought it's already taken me so long to do this. I don't want this video to be super, 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 super long, although it already is quite long. So yeah, I didn't end up capping that nail, but in real life, if you were working on a client, you, I would definitely advise to cap it because you have used mainly design powders and not strength powders. So hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying there, but yeah. And then I'm just going to come in and file this nail here and then file the baby nail. So basically this is the last of the filing guys. We're finally starting to get there now. I'm just going to file this one. Then I'm going to buff over all of the nails and I'm also going to wipe over with a little bit of acetone. That will just get rid of any of the dust and also just smooth that nail out a really little bit. My color couture top coat here and I will just let you guys watch me top cut all of the nails we are then I'm gonna go in and do a little bit of something on that star so if you can see the star there it didn't come out that bad at all I think if I'd have filed it a little bit more it would have been actually even crisper but I did have another plan as to what I wanted to do over the top of that star so I will show you that once I have top coated all of the nails So I cured the nails and I then wiped over with gel residue wipe off solution. I did wipe over here guys, I need to make that very clear to you. All of you who were in the live will have been with me on my frustration in this. But basically I'm using the no wipe top coat from Blue Sky and I'm going over this star to basically make a star pattern using the no wipe top coat. I'm then going to go in with some holographic chrome powder over the star. Now, what should happen here is the powder should only stick to the no wipe top coat because I've wiped off the I've wiped off the the gel sticky layer underneath and it should not have stuck to that part of the nail. It just shouldn't. But I'm I'm wondering also, I did only cure for like 10 20 seconds thinking that that would make it work better and I'm wondering if because I did that maybe it's rubbed around the nail a little bit but as you can see here um the hollow was sticking like the chrome powder was sticking to the rest of the nail so I was like are you freaking kidding me <laughs> um don't worry about it if this does happen to you all you need to do is take some acetone and a little brush and just wipe away around the edges however obviously the whole point is this is supposed to be really easy and you're supposed to just be able to paint on with your no wipe top coat and go over with the powder and it will just stick to the no wipe top coat so I'm going to do a bit, a bit of experimenting. I don't know if it was the colour couture top coat maybe that made this go wrong or maybe because I didn't cure the no wipe long enough. But yeah, anyway, this it, it, it ended up alright in the end. I'm going to do some experimenting in that and I will let you guys know how that goes. But you would then go over that again with a top coat to make sure all the chrome is nice and safe and not going to get rubbed away. And then that would be your finished set of nails. 
So this is the end result guys. I hope you liked this video. Happy 4th of July to anybody out there who is celebrating. This will be going up a little bit earlier than then but I don't know when you guys are going to be watching it. So happy 4th of July. Thank you so much for watching. I really like this set of nails. Leave me some comments down below letting me know if you like this set. Also, give this video a thumbs up because your likes and your comments really do help my channel out and mean so much to me. If you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and the bell button and join our little family. I will see you guys in the next video. I love you so, so much. Bye!